let us all arise. Lord, who throughout these forty days for us did fast and pray, teach us with you to moan our sins and close by you to stay. As you with Satan did contend and did the victory win, O oh, give us strength in you to fight, in you to conquer sin. Let us begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the command of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. This Mass is offered for the repose of soul of Richard Werners. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries that's called to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sin we have committed in our weakness. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged around me. 
The destroying floods overwhelm me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemies because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan, to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. The tension is becoming more and more as we are approaching the Passion or the Passion Sunday or the Good Friday. They pick up stones to hit at Jesus. Today, the understanding of God in the world is completely different. The major religion, the sons of Abraham, the Jews, the Christians, the Muslims, Always, there is a tension. They believe in what they believe, and they do things in a different way because they go by the letter of the law or the scriptures. The two types of, two types of thought called binary, zero and one, the good and the bad the words and the deeds. Therefore, we know in the church, when somebody said, the earth is circle round this hood. No, earth is flat, they killed him. We know about Copernican heliocentric theories. And then they talked about two levels of the world, 
the netherworld, the heaven, the earth. But today, after so much of development in scientific world, Einstein's theory of relativity, so much of logic, so much of developments, the church stood back and said, hey, we are sorry for literally going into the scriptures and interpreting it as it is. Today, same thing happens in the gospel. The Bible clearly said, the scriptures said, we are sons of God. Here is a man from Nazareth says, he is God. It's a blasphemy. For a blasphemy, you take a stone and kill the person. That's what the church did. Killed so many scientists, so many logicians, so many people with creative mind. I don't blame the church because that time the understanding was binary. If it is not in the scriptures, you're out. But today, as beautifully we reflect, if I don't understand the unity between the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they are one, the unity, and if I see them separate entity, one, two, and three, I make a mistake. We make a mistake. It is no more they are independent entity. There is a circular understanding. They are one. Therefore, Jesus says, if you see me, if you see my works, you see the Father Creator. The Creator, the Redeemer, the Sanctifier, all are one. Therefore, why are you stoning for my works or for my words? They clearly said, our binary thinking says, for your words, because you are blaspheming. Brothers and sisters, we can go on talking about the words and the scriptures. For us personally, soon we are going to encounter the great Paschal mystery, the passion, the death and resurrection. Who is Jesus in my life? Do I see him as a personal savior who touches my life, whose words are powerful, brings me spirit and action and conversion in my life, then I can think like the way Jesus thinks. It is not the letter of the law. It is not just the works. It is not just the word. It is the wisdom of God. I can only get the wisdom of God in prayer and on my knees. The moment I become heady, logical, scientific, scriptural, we become binary, this or that. And the verse clearly ends today in gospel. And many there began to believe in him. The whole purpose of John's gospel is John 20, 31. These words are written that we believe in the Son of God, the Messiah, and we have life in his words. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. A response be, Lord, have mercy. For all who serve in the church, may they teach by their example and live according to what they teach. Let us pray to the Lord. For those countries in the world that are torn by violence, may the peace of the Lord be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. For worshippers who are praying this Mass online, that the all may be confident and assured of our ongoing prayers for each and every one. We pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, for the healthcare workers and first responders, for our troops, for an end to Bosch and euthanasia, 
and for the ill of a parish, especially those in the prayer list, let us pray to the Lord. For all, all who died in faith may live in perfect love of Christ and kingdom of heaven, let us pray to the Lord. For those intentions are most dear to us, to lift up at this time in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. We especially pray for Richard Werness, for whom this Mass is intended. Let us pray to the Lord. We especially pray for Margaret Mary Duff, Don Hopko, Carmelo Weeks, Claudia Waller, Bob Clausen, Jack Timmerman, Matthew Cummings, Edward Schaff, George Dublino, Susan Greg Diany, Daniel Quenya, Arthur Cozy, Shay, John Barry, Emil Bloom, Anna Polisi, Inga D. Bartolo, Ron Drews, Alex, and Maria Formicola. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Father, hear our prayers as we prepare to receive the body and blood of your beloved Son, the Eucharist. We pray to be worthy of his sacrifice made for us through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation, fall to your goodness, we have received the bread we all for you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation, fall to your goodness, we have received the wine we all for you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. I'm going to call the sacrifice, blessing to Lord God. I wash him and he cleanse me from our sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, for the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by your wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and authority of Christ crucified, and so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exaltation. We acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and bread of Christ may may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity to gather with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Richard Werners, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was not in son and death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who died in your mercy, welcome them the light of your face. Of mercy in us all, we pray that Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Clare, St. Anthony, St. John the Evangelist, John of the Cross, Teresa of Avila, and all the saints who place it to all the ages, may merit to be cohesive eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command from the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious to grant peace in our days, that by help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your pastors, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church. And gracious to grant a peace and unity accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. On this day, quitoli specata mundi, May severe nobis, Angus Dei, Quitolis peccata mundi, May severe nobis, Angus Dei, Quitolis peccata mundi, the no nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. And the body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life.
act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. And have a blessed day. So, Lord, my Savior, sanctify my breast. Body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Savior, bathe me in thy tide. Wash me with water flowing from his side. Strength and protection, may thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me. So shall I never, never part from thee.